and welcome to Growers Farm. Uh, my name's James and this is uh, the 2nd of July. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, we are having a clean up at the moment. We're trying to uh, clear up our uh, clear up our cattle and our sheep. Um, we need to give them a feed and, uh, and sort of sort out all their feeding stuff as well. Um, so that's what we're doing. Uh, it's all hands on deck on the farm. Uh, if you remember, it's only been a few days since my last vlog. Um, but uh, rain is forecast. We do have rain coming in in the next few days. And uh, and so we're desperate to get uh, the silage bales finished and all wrapped. Uh, as a result, we actually have a team going at the moment out on the fields. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's no one else. Uh, well, no, all tractors are going at the moment. Uh, we are in a position where uh, we basically just uh, getting every everything is in use. So at the moment, we're doing the cows. We're feeding the cows and everything uh, with this piece of kit. Uh, we only have this tractor available to us. Our uh, 7840 um, two-wheel drive. So we've got that running around here. We've got quite a bit of manure to clear out of here. Uh, it's going to be a pretty long track for that, I think. Um, I'm considering changing my trailer on the farm. Uh, we, uh, I've seen some uh, nice red rocks uh, available uh, for sale. Um, uh, we only need one, of course. But uh, yeah, I've seen a nice red rock trailer for, for sale. And uh, I'm kind of considering getting hold of that. We've had a couple of problems with this trailer recently. And uh, and yeah, while it's while it would work with our new combine pretty well, um, I'm uh, I'm worried that uh, it might give out at a precise moment. And you see, it's got a bit of age on it. This uh, this trailer now. So uh, yeah, we are we are going to be uh, looking at that and looking at uh, doing a replacement on that. Let's get around here. Uh, and uh, and yeah, so we've got a fair amount of, uh, of manure to clean out here. We've got uh, oh, the, the cows need completely feeding. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of those things where everything's kind of been all go on the farm the last few days. And, uh, and uh, as a result, you know, these jobs, I wouldn't say get forgotten. Um, but uh, you spend all day out in the field doing stuff and then you come home and you still have these jobs to do. So, yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're getting at at the moment. Um, we are looking at having a really good silage harvest, though. Um, we have a, a lot of, uh, of silage bales that are going to be coming back to us. So uh, that's good. We're looking at solutions uh, to, uh, to actually get them in because uh, the number of silage bales we have kind of is overloading our uh, previous uh, way of doing things so uh, at the moment oh, at the moment I'm uh, I'm speaking to the shop because they have something that we might be able to demo next time uh, which would be pretty good um, the reason we're doing silage bales at the moment uh, as I, uh, I as I said to you guys last time um, is because we have oh, this is the problem we have with the trailer um, uh, is because we are in a position where uh, <coughs> we need uh, to get them in before the rain. If we if we did uh, hay bales, which is what we normally do at this time of year, uh, we actually would end up with uh, a lot less hay. Uh, and so I've taken the decision, we'll do silage bales. We know we can... Silage bales are always in big demand. So we, we know that we can sell them off and, uh, and make a lot of money that way. There we go. And into the trailer. Uh, so we know we can make a lot of money that way. And, uh, and, and yeah, it will be good for us. So I'm going to get this trailer loaded up. And, uh, and we'll go and uh, tip the first load. Uh, it's unfortunate that we have to... Uh, we, we can't drive around, but it just takes so much longer to drive around uh, to do this job. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. It's so tight in here, though. We'll see how we do. About halfway through this, I think, at the moment, and the trailer is getting fairly full. Cows are looking for a bit more feed, as you can see. They're being a bit curious around the tractor now. 
which way are you going? You're going to go that way. Okay, I'll move out your way then. And uh, and yeah, so we're uh, we're nicely uh, clearing this up now. Should work pretty well. As I said, this trailer though, um, beginning to show its age a little bit. Uh, we're uh, it's it's not quite up to scratch, and um, yeah, so we're we're looking to replace that. We're probably going to get one leased uh, at least for this year. Um, but I think uh, long term. Uh, it's going to be worth it. Uh, again, I think I think it's going to be depending on how much we can sell uh, various bits for. Uh, we've got a really, really good will uh, will uh, take this year uh, that we're going to be selling later on. So that will be able to pay for things. So it might be, I think it's probably going to be a case of we'll borrow the money to get a new trailer. And, uh, and then we'll pay it off when the wool uh, sale comes in uh, in the winter. Because that's always the best time. And uh, and yeah, we'll have a lorry come in and we'll load that up and they'll take that away. And uh, and we'll make money from that, which will be really good. Uh, oh, there we go. And we'll just store that for a little while until uh, until the best price comes up. Uh, until we have our agreement. It means we end up storing the wool for, for quite a while. Um, but, it's, uh, but it ends up being more beneficial to us in the long run. And, uh, yeah, just an awful lot of manure for us to get rid of. Right, should top this off this time, I think. There we are. So just top this off. And uh, that will do. You can see it coming up over the top of the trailer. I don't really want to put any extra in. Uh, so yeah, normally I would have a second tractor kicking around here, and we would just uh, and we'd hook that up and uh, and keep going with that. We want to go and close this gate while we do this. There we are, and hook that up, and hook that up, and uh, and away we go. So uh, we'll head around the farm this way, and this is quite a full trailer uh, we're pulling behind this uh, this tractor at the moment. But should work pretty well. So we've had uh, two tractors. Uh, we've had three tractors going on field uh, six the last few days, which is this one here. We've got the baler still going on it, as you can see. Um, I think they are just finishing up by the looks of things. Uh, yeah, not much uh, for that to do. Um, he's going to head straight over to field eight because field eight yeah, currently has uh, the mower and the windrower running in it. Uh, if we can get all of this road and uh, and cut today, it's going to mean that we are uh, in a really good place. I mean, we will have all our grass done for the summer, uh, which will be good. Uh, an absolutely brilliant place for us to be in. Uh, but it is uh, it is a case of we need to get it done. Because uh, if we don't, uh, we do have this rain coming and we're just... And then we'll be into harvest, and then it just we just won't have time, uh, a chance to do this. Uh, in time for us to get another cut done in the autumn. Where I'm hoping we're going to have a drier autumn than we have had a, uh, uh, a, a spring or a summer. Wait, need to pull that back off there. Before that bends the rear uh, door. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so uh, hopefully uh, that's going to go a lot better. Uh, but, yeah, they're going to head over uh, and start on field eight in a moment while we're uh, while we're uh, continuing to work with our cows. Um, because, yeah, we need to we need to get the cows done. We need to, to sort them out. Speaking of which, before we head back down the other end, I'm just going to jump over this gate here because we need to give them some water. The water trough is empty. So we'll open that up. There we go. That will uh, that will keep them happy there. And as I said, we've got one more trailer full of this to do. So we're going to do that. Um, and then we're going to give them some feed. Which in itself, again, it's going to be interesting. Because what we're going to have to do is uh, use this tractor to do both. So to touch our hoses, drop our trailer off. We'll open up our gate. And, uh, and yeah, then we can uh, get our trailer filled. But it's uh, yeah, it's 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 one of those things where it's 
the Scottish weather has been really horrible to us uh, this summer. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of made us change our plans. Probably means we'll, we'll make more money. Um, we'll, uh, we'll be able to sell these silage bales for uh, a lot more than uh, than we would be able to sell hay, hay bales for. The difference is we've got to buy in hay bales if we can't if we can't get to the end of this year. So tip this in. Uh, I've just heard from um, uh, I've just heard from Mark. Uh, it's all going swimmingly. They're all on to field uh, eight now. So uh, shortly uh, we will have all of our grass done, which is absolutely brilliant. Currently trying to work out the best way for us to uh, uh, best way for us to uh, collect all these bales up. Um, ideally, well, it's gonna to be perfectly honest. We're gonna be we're gonna leave them for a while because we want them to uh, to ferment, uh, and fermenting in the field actually works better for us than in the shed uh, because then we don't uh, accidentally pick up um, an unfermented bale and try and feed the cows with it. Uh, but, uh, we, uh, so, oh, we will, uh, be giving, uh, we're giving that a few days. It probably means we'll be, uh, going around and picking up bales in the rain, uh, which is a fairly good use for us, uh, for, uh, for those rainy days. It'll give us something to do, uh, while we, uh, get the rain out of the way and get the harvest, uh, wait for the harvest to get started. Uh, so it'd be pretty good, um. But yeah, this is a lot of manure manoeuvring we're doing today. Uh, before we do this, so I get this uh, rest of this trailer finished, uh, and then uh, and then we'll get these cows fed. I think is our best uh, our best bet and our best uh, way of moving on. So that is the last of the manure. Cows are nicely cleaned out. Uh, we'll get this into the trailer. The trailer's not full, which is good news. Uh, and yeah, that means that our cows are nice and clean, which is great. We're going to have plenty of manure uh, coming up uh, in the near future for our cows. Uh, or sorry, for our fields. Because uh, basically I like to uh, spread manure onto our fields uh, before we go. Um, uh, once we've done harvest, it's, uh, it gives us that immediate burst of fertilizer straight back into the soil. So do that up and attach those. We'll close this gate. Come over here. There we go. Sometimes you have to push it around a bit to get it working. Uh, so yeah, we'll go and tip this. Uh, get that. Uh, get this done. Uh, and then we'll come back. We will. Uh, we'll put the bale spikes on here, and uh, and get some get this sorted with uh, some feed as well uh, make the cows very very happy uh, and uh, and keep them going uh, and uh, and yeah get them producing milk or keep them producing milk uh, right, back in this up because this is uh, of course a dairy farm I have considered doing uh, beef cattle before, but uh, yeah, we're, we're we're set up for dairy more than anything, so makes sense for us to to do that. Right, hopefully, we've got this in the right point this time, and uh, yeah, shouldn't cause us any issues. And then we can just reverse up the stack a little bit just to get it a little bit higher. And there we go. So that is the last of that done. So we'll uh, we'll go park this trailer up now, uh, which goes in this shed here, which is always fun because this is quite a tight shed to get into, especially when you can't see much of uh, of what's going on. Kind of want to get into it. Horizontally, or perpendicular, I should say. Sorry, not horizontally. Horizontally is good. You don't want, <laughs> but uh, yeah, not quite what I meant. Right there we go. Ah, it went in there easier than I thought it would. That's all good. So let's disconnect this. Yeah, and as I said, I think when the harvest comes around, we uh, we're gonna see if we can get these uh, 
I'm going to look at these red rocks, see if we can replace this and uh, and see how they're doing. Right, so we want to drop off uh, the... Oh, want to drop off our bucket first, so we'll drop that over here. Because uh, otherwise we are just too close. There we go. And uh, we're going to go and grab our bale spike. Which is underneath this feed silo. Uh, we're, we're about right place. There we go. Yeah. I wanted a set of. Um, I've seen a set of collapsible shelves that I think we could put around here. So uh, I think we might invest in a set of those. Uh, just to uh, somewhere to store this stuff because we are we've got a lot of front loader tools uh, on the farm and and just keeping them out of the way can be a struggle sometimes. There we go. So connect that up, connect that up, and that up, and this should be fine on this. It is just the whole thing of uh, getting it to connect up right. All right, so that good. Okay, Let's just reverse that up a bit, make it nice and straight. And we can disconnect all of this, like so. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go do uh, two silage to one uh, to one hay. I think should do it. go and yeah the trouble as I've said before is we have a bit of an issue trying to see exactly where we are with this All right hopefully that has gone straight in let's just check yeah we haven't missed which we sometimes do I want to connect up everything and have a look at the readings of uh, of how much we've got. Uh, right, we want to come in here this time for this one. Like so. Lifted out with very little fuss, that one. Very nicely done. well then we want a hay bale <clears throat> oh I think our mower has reached the end so uh, yeah we'll see if he comes back to the yard and can uh, hook up to our um, to our uh, feed wagon all right, so let's jump out and go and see if that uh, that tractor has returned back. Um, suddenly I got the alert that it had. So, yeah, there it is, sitting in the shed, ready for use. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think our worker's gone home. I, I think he's headed home. Um, I know Mark is on the baler. Um, so, uh, I think this was one of the guys uh, that we got in. Uh, one of our temp workers. We do tend to get in temp workers from time to time, especially when things get really, really busy on the farm. Ooh, let's not damage our mower. There we go. Uh, so we'll just uh, drop the mower off. We need to get all this stuff washed. So let's jump out and drop this off. Oh, we need to lower it first. There we go. So... Lower this down, uh, drop this off, drop that off, and back in. Back up. And then we can we've unfolded the rear one. So we can then just drop that off behind it. Oop. A little bit fast there. So cables off, 
PTO off and drop it down. Right, so now we can use this tractor um, with our uh, with our bit here and we're less concerned. Makes things easier on us. So hook that up there and that there and that there. All good. And, uh, and we can get the mixing going straight off. So we're about half full at the moment. Uh, we've put two uh, bales of uh, silage in. Start that up. There we go. And that started the mixing process. Uh, so we should be able to put two bales of uh, this in as well. Two bales of the hay in. And uh, once we've done that, uh, we'll top it off with one of the bales of... Actually, I'm not going to. We'll just we'll just do silage and uh, and hay and do that as a mix at the moment. Just looking at the amount of straw we've got and uh, and the fact that we've got a little while till harvest, um, I need to make sure that we uh, we preserve our straw um, until we can uh, we can actually get that into the harvest. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we are going to be in a little bit of trouble. We did get most of our fields last time we got done as hay bales. Uh, which is actually why the silage, uh, doing uh, most of the farmers' silage this time, or all the farmers' silage this time, uh, should actually be okay for us. Uh, we have a lot of silage bales coming back as a result, which is good. There we go. Now that should be pretty full. Uh, yeah, we are 88% full. We've got space for 2,000 litres. Uh, we don't have... Each of our bales is 4,000 litres. So we don't have enough space uh, to do any more with that. Uh, there we go. Now we try to... Uh, so I, I said previously that what we try and do is, uh, is do a mix in the autumn normally. Uh, but... The fact is, overall, we actually need more uh, hay bales than we need uh, silage bales. And this is because um, we, ha uh, we use it for the, um, the sheep as well as the cows, uh, the silage bales. So, uh, yeah, they, are, they, they feed both uh, through the winter months. Uh, of course, the hay goes into the uh, mixed ration with the silage, uh, while uh, the uh, hay for the sheep, uh, that goes straight into their feeding trough. There we go. That will do our cows. And, uh, and yeah, there we go. That's pretty much us done for the day, I think. Uh, the other bits will come in later. They are, uh, they'll get that finished. Uh, for now, though, uh, this is where I'm going to leave this vlog. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.